Hello and welcome to the Sigma Draconis Advanced Base Building Tutorial. In this video we will give you hints and tips on getting your base up and running, as well as a few things that will save it from the void. You've probably been on the server a while now and hopefully if you started on a planet you've made it into space. If not, strap a rocket on that rover and get up here. Planets are dangerous and you can easily be found. Now you're in space, I would suggest jumping as far as you can into the unknown. The server is huge as long as you don't go further than 10,000 kilometers from the system center. As this will top grid your ship, making it visible to everyone on the server, top grid marker will last for five minutes until either you're back within range or your grid has been brought below the PCU threshold. This can be seen by using the exclamation mark GPS command. All the basic planet GPS markers will now be in your GPS list. So, you've found your spot hopefully and it's more than 300 kilometers from a high population area, planets and asteroid belt. Refineries on the server will still run when you're offline, which helps to mine that large amount of ore you've got, but leaving everything out each time you go offline can be dangerous. I suggest building a compartmentalised base. This is where you can detach some storage and your refineries so that the rest of your base can be hangered and refineries can process that ore into ingots. This can be accomplished by using merge blocks and connectors. Just make sure each section has its own power supply beacon, survival kit, medical room, gyroscope and thrust in all directions. When you want to disconnect the refineries, unlock the connector and turn off the merge block. Then either using the command exclamation mark convert or through the K menu. Convert the grid you wish to hanger into a ship. Then hanger. Make sure to check the name of the remaining part as this may have reverted to static grid. We don't want it to get cleaned up now. Weapons on a base are pointless if they find it when you are absent and they'll gain access to it. It is better to use the KISS method in your design. Keep it simple stupid. Using the least amount of PCU is your best option if you're going to connect your miner, which has guns. The last thing you want to do is top grid your base. The roaches will be after you. To help you build your base, the server has the bar module, build and repair. Once connected, this will build blocks that you place within the area. And if you have the components, I suggest turning it to fly mode, as this will also build blocks that are not connected to that grid. You are only allowed one BAR per grid and per player, or with each other. When designing your base, please remember that when upgrading key modules, the elite tech modules like refineries and cargo containers, which are a lot bigger than the vanilla. Don't cluster everything up. Be careful not to cluster grids. You should not have more than three grids in a 1.5 kilometer area. The best rule of thumb, if you're not using it, hanger it. Conveyor junctions affect server performance. That's why they are 450 PCU. Use the modded conveyor junction with the least necessary amount of faces so that this is not a problem. Be careful of cargo containers and tanks PCU as they are worth 450. 
If you are unsure of the grid PCU, either type the command exclamation mark PCU count whilst looking at the grid or use the K menu then info tab. Your base should have a small fueler. This should be how you load and fuel your big ships. Try to keep the PCU small and low. Fuelers can be used as a projector ship when using a printer wall. A printer wall is a line of welders behind either window or armour blocks. Using a projector ship you can then pull your design out of the printer. There are many types of printers, such as welding walls, piston printers, rotary printers. Just remember to watch the spacing of the welders and make sure that your BAR does not overlap with them. If you want to use scripts to control your base, this role will have to be requested via a support ticket on the Discord. Once you've got your base set up, and if you haven't already done so, why not get your free supply drop by making a support ticket on the Discord? Ask for your supply drop and an Acme representative will deploy your goodie bag. This will have numerous resources to help you get started. By the way, there's some tech in there as well. There you have it, your command centre. Remember, if you have any questions, check the wiki, ask in game chat or ask in the Discord. If you're having an issue, more than likely someone else has had it too. You can still find your answer by submitting a support ticket via Discord. One of the admin team will be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching.